Alright everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video because I just watched the video on TikTok that's gone viral of Shamira Nessa. I hope I've said her name right, I don't want to get it wrong, but that's the way I've read it. She's gone viral a few times, I've seen a couple of her videos, she's hilarious. From what I've seen, the videos that she's made are sort of responding to Jeffrey Marsh. So you want to talk to kids on a social media platform privately about topics that cannot be talked about in the video of TikTok's comments sections. He's a guy that's gone viral loads of times. We all know who he is. If you don't know who he is, he's this creep. Hi kids. There is no such thing as a boy or a girl. And I can prove it. God is non-binary. I'm Jeffrey and I am not a danger to children. I am a danger to parents though. And you know what? Creep is putting it nicely. Hi kids! Hey kids! I want to talk to the kids. Hi kids! Hey kids! Your parents screwed up. It's okay to say so. <laughs> That's why I made a Patreon. Hi beautiful, if you do not have a family that loves you, I'm going to be your family. No, you can't. You are a stranger on the internet. You are not their family. Oh, and another thing. You can turn off age restrictions on Patreon. So kids can go to Jeffrey Marsh's their Patreon. So I just got an email saying um, pretty much a threat saying I know they know where I live. And what scares me the most is... um. They have got my daughter's details on the email, like what time I leave to drop them to school, pick them up. And it's not a coincidence because both of my daughters, they go to two different schools. So they know they've given the school details and everything. So, um, yeah, my, my daughters are involved now in this. I was getting not very nice videos and now emails with a lot of details on that email so I don't I'm done I don't I don't want to do anything I'm not going to talk about Jeffrey Marsh I've deleted everything not only is Jeffrey Marsh a creep but these trans activists these gender identity ideologist lunatics are extremists and they go to the extreme they're bullying they're threatening they're intimidating to get you to obey them they think that they have the moral right to do that to you and when they're campaigning for trans rights what they're campaigning for is the power to make you do what they say to force you to obey them that's what they want they've already got all the same rights we've got they've got the same rights as anybody else you are any trans activists what rights they're campaigning for and they will not have a coherent answer for you because they've already got the same rights as everybody else they're not fighting for rights that they haven't got they're asking for things like free cosmetic surgery and free hormone drugs whenever they want they're demanding that the law allows children to consent to sterilizing themselves they're asking that children and teenagers and young adults who are vulnerable to go through unnecessary medical procedures to amputate their body parts an irreversible procedure and they're claiming that this is a basic human right it's not and uh, i got really angry seeing this because the way i see it no one should be threatened with violence threatened with death threatened with no one should be harassed no one should be stalked no one should be intimidated no one should have their children threatened nobody should be threatened to be docked nobody should lose their job nobody should be intimidated in this way just for not believing in pledging your allegiance to worshipping obeying or even respecting gender identity ideology which is an unpopular cult-like quasi-religious ideology i have no other way to put it it looks like a cult it sounds like a cult it behaves like a cult but you know what these activists behave like they're in a criminal cult and they shouldn't get away with it for the first time since the whole matt walsh dylan mulvaney thing came out i actually think shit i was wrong matt walsh is right this is a war that these activists have brought to us and we're 
better gear up and fight it because this ain't no joke. This isn't just a simple innocent misunderstanding. These people are waging ideological war on us. We cannot allow ourselves to be bullied in this way. They're not above the law. They behave like they are because they've got away with it for so long. The reason they get away with it is because they are treated by the police as if they're a protected class, therefore they're above the law. And why do they do this? Well, my suspicions are that the police do this because they're so captured and so involved in wanting to be on this stonewall diversity champion scheme that they're not willing to even touch anything like this with a barge pole unless it's to go after people for the sin of not obeying this ideology. The reason I say that is because the year before last the police threatened to prosecute me for harassment because I wrote a tweet about how I went to a shop and I saw the man who's been threatening to call the police, who's been calling for people to mass call the police on me because I drew a picture of JK Rowling. I didn't name him. I didn't describe him. I didn't say what he looks like. I didn't say anything about him except for what I've just told you now. I said that he has been telling people to mass call the police on me for drawing JK Rowling. The police sent me an email threatening to prosecute me for harassment because apparently I had made it blatantly obvious who it is and the police officer said something along the lines of, I'm paraphrasing here, I'll have to look at the email again sometime. He implied to me that this wasn't the first time I had upset one of his friends. So he was doing a favour for his mates, yeah? He just emailed me out of the blue saying you're going to get prosecuted if you carry this on. He told me to delete all my social media, completely disappear from the internet and never come back. That's what he told me to do. And he told me that if I continue to do what I'm doing, which is speak the truth and say things like humans cannot change sex and that men are not women, he's going to have a problem with me. That's a threat. I didn't do anything for over a year at this point. I had been reporting the harassment to the police and the police came after me. They came after me, okay? This is how I know the police are not on our side. I had to open a case against the police. I had to threaten them back. I had to say, you've sent me this email. I wasn't aware that I'm under any investigation. I've never been arrested. The police have never spoken to me before. I'm not on any sort of caution. Nobody's taken me in for a statement. There's no testimony. I mean, what's going on here? And the police came back to me and they said to me that this guy had gone to the chief constable to complain about me and that the chief constable had told him point blank to his face that there is no case. This is not a case, okay? And he dropped it. This other police officer went behind the constable's back to send me that email and threatened to prosecute me. That's why the police sort of begrudgingly gave me a sort of reluctant apology. They want me to drop the case. I ain't dropped the case. I'm not dropping the case. They've admitted to me that what this guy is doing is harassment, but they tell me there's nothing they can do about it, right? And this is just after they've threatened to prosecute me for writing a tweet where I don't even name or describe anybody. They just, I'm just fuming. I'm fuming at the way this is going down. I'm fuming at the way these activists continuously get away with their violent behaviour. They're threatening people, they're stalking people, they're harassing people, intimidating people, doxing people threatening their kids, making fake accounts online to stalk you on. Do you know what? People in our lives, they if they like one of my statuses or one of my tweets or one of my anything I post online, just recently we had a friend of ours, a really good friend of ours, a mutual friend. He hadn't been online for a while, he didn't know what had happened, he liked one of my statuses. He got privately messaged by the people who cancelled us and threatened in email and told that he's on some sort of watch list. I think they called it a shit list. This is how these people behave. They're behaving like criminals. They shouldn't get away with it. I'm perplexed and I'm angry. I'm fuming. I'm absolutely fuming that this is allowed to continue. Whether or not you believe in this ideology and you think men can magically turn into women shouldn't matter when it comes to discerning the difference between right and wrong. 
It is wrong to go after people, intimidate, harass and threaten them. This lady obviously has been put through the ringer and she's scared enough that she's made a video crying and she says if you want me to say sorry, I'm saying sorry, I'm sorry, I, don't, I won't do it again. You guys want me to say I'm sorry? Fine, I'm sorry. Please don't come at me, don't come to my house, don't, don't do anything with me. That's not okay. She's not doing anything wrong, even if, and I haven't even watched all her videos, even if she has mocked him, even if she's gone, ha ha, look at Jeffrey Mars, she's a weirdo, that doesn't warrant what's happening to her. It's not okay, it shouldn't be okay, it shouldn't be something that's just accepted as part of society. This isn't how normal people behave. These are lunatic, deranged, extremist lunatic. Look, I get criticised a lot online. I get accused of cherry picking these incidents to try to make trans people look bad and you're right i do cherry pick because the problem is there's so much shit out there there's so much evidence video evidence written testimony there's so much out there of these people acting like kin psychopathic Thug, that I have a hard time choosing which bits to put out there because there's just so much and I only want to I only wanted to make the video once and just to prove a point just to show people what's going on when Kelly J Keen has a standing for women talk where women just meet up to chat about their rights there needs to be a real tangible pushback on this I'm going to write to my MP because I think this is fucking mental and everything that's happened to me is mental and I don't think it's acceptable what happens to me and other people I know who have been treated this way whether they've been publicly cancelled or not there's a lot of people that have been privately intimidated and threatened one of the musicians I used to work for doing artwork for got threatened by the people who cancelled me and they got told that if they ever work with me again their career and their reputation is going to be destroyed. How is this okay? The people who cancelled me brag online about how they're going to see to it that we never get work again. How is that acceptable? I've not murdered anyone, not hurt anyone, I've not battered anyone, I've not done anything to anyone. I'm over here saying men cannot be women. Humans cannot change sex. This is not real. I don't believe in it. You're not going to make me. I'm not going to use pronouns because I don't believe in your imaginary made up identity and you can't make me. That's what people have got to do. People have got to stand up for themselves and they've got to stand up for each other and they've got to look people in the eye and say, you can't make me. <sighs> Fucking hell, that was a bit much. I don't know if this ranting thing's for me, but I really needed to get that off my chest because it's Sunday night and the gym ain't open. See you later. As the sun comes up, I just wanna have a cup. There's one drink, that's the one for me. Won't you please make me a cup of tea?